Game Devs In part 1 of this series, we looked at how nodes inherit from one another in the Godot node system. In this video, I would like to take it a step further and show you how inheritance actually works in a game. There are good points and some, well, not so good points to this system, but it's up to you to choose when and how you are going to use inheritance. Let's begin. As discussed in the previous video, we see that the Sprite2D is a class and it inherits from Node2D, Canvas item, Node and Object, which means that it has access to all the properties and methods associated with the other nodes it inherits from. In a similar way, we can create our own class and have other nodes inherit from it. However, there's just one catch, but more on that later. First, let's set up our class. We can set up our class by right-clicking in the file system and choosing New Script and create a new script in the file system. This script does not need to be attached to a node in the game. I have already created a script called Pickup and chose the node default. This is going to be really, really easy. But first, let me explain how I will set this up. Create a main class called Pickup and all the other classes will inherit from it. Then we will create three pickups, points that add points to the game, shock that causes the shock effect but also adds points, and nuke that, you guessed it, will add points, cause the shock effect and also the nuke effect. Right away you can see that without inheritance there will be a lot of repetition in the code. But not to worry, this is going to be a lot easier than it sounds. But first, let's get moving. I will use an area 2D node and a collision shape 2D node for all the pickups to detect if it collides with the player and a sprite 2D node to display the pickup sprite. Now since I'm going to be using an area 2D node, the pickup class will need to extend the area 2D class. Then I can declare the class name by using the built-in keyword class underscore name and give the class a name. I will just call it pickup. I could add all the functionality of all the pickups in this script and just have each pickup inherit it from here. But I want to emphasize how the classes will inherit functions and properties from one another. So I will only handle two things here, moving the pickup down the screen and removing the pickup from the scene when it's no longer in the viewport. With that done, let's see the code for the first pickup. The points pickup will need to extend the pickup class and we can set a class name for the points pickup. Since this pickup extends the pickup class, all we need to do is call the move function that was created in the pickup class in the physics process delta function to move the points pickup, making sure to pass in delta. There is no need to rewrite the code to move and remove the pickup. Let's quickly take a look at how the player is set up. For simplicity, in a similar way to the pickups, I used an area 2D for the player ship. But I could have used a character body 2D and attached an area 2D to detect the collisions. Then I use input to move the ship left and right, keeping it in the viewport. Back in the add points class, I created an add points function that simply prints add points to the console and connected an on area entered signal to the function and called the add points function in there. That way, when the points pickup enters the area 2D of the ship, it prints add points to the console. That was really cool, right? But it gets better. In the shock pickup script, we do something similar, extend the add points and give it a class name. But I also want to change the speed at which the pickup falls. So I create a variable for shock speed and make a function called change shock speed. In this function, I will override the underscore speed variable of the move function by setting the underscore speed of the move function equal to shock underscore speed. Then call the move function and in the physics delta function, call the change shock speed function. I also make an apply shock function which simply prints apply shock to the console. Now all I need to do is call the add points and apply shock functions in the on area entered signal. Already we can see how convenient this is because we are now inheriting the move function from the pickup class, overridden the speed and also inherited from the add points class to add points and now have applied the shock effect. But it doesn't stop there. If you did not quite get all that, please feel free to use the timestamps to review. Now let's take a look 
at the new code. We extend shock and give it a class name, override the speed in a similar way, create the apply new function in the on area entered signal. We call all the functions that we need. We can see that everything works perfectly. This is because the nuke function inherits all the way back up the inheritance tree to the pickup class. This means that it has the ability to call on all the methods and properties of the shock, add points, and pickup classes. But wait, this is not perfect. Actually, no system is. Remember at the start of the video I said that there were some not so good points? Well, as it turns out, in Godot, you cannot inherit from more than one class at a time. Let me quickly explain. If we had an enemy in our scene that inherited from character body 2D, and for some reason we wanted to apply the move function to it from the pickup class, we will not be able to extend the pickup class to this code without first removing the character body 2D class. And even if we did and extended the pickup class, Godot will not allow this since the pickup class already extends from the area 2D class and the character body 2D node needs to extend character body 2D. But there is an alternative to inheritance. Thanks for watching. We discussed a lot today. Core mechanics and no gimmicks. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a like, it really means a lot. And subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I upload another video. And speaking of other videos, why not check out another one of my videos here? This has been Diragu Games.